show you Zorro's backup, and this is better than it was. Oh. So they should put their head down and back up. So this is better. There he goes. He throws his head usually up in the air. So this bit might be too much. We'll see as I fix it um, how it is. Good boy. But uh, they're not supposed to swing their head. So it's either there's too much bit or he's just objecting that he doesn't want to do it, which I think was part of it. So I worked on the ground fixing it. And now I'm fixing it under saddle. Whoa. So he should just stop it. Whoa, which he doesn't. And then you see when I touch the brakes, which is the bit, now he's better. Um, he throws his head in protest. So they're not supposed to do that. Huh. That's not a good attitude. So they can pay their own board. They can do what they want, but they can't. So he needs to back up nicely with his head down. There's a couple lessons going on, so he's doing okay with that. Uh, I did lunge him because he was very excitable in here, and actually when I went to lunge him, he spooked at the gate and went flying. But we worked on that, and that was better. Okay, so we're going to stop up here. So I sit back, blow out, and then I say, well, so if they get lots of warning, then I'm going to stop. <sighs> oh, and if they don't stop, I slam on the brakes. See how he doesn't like that? So they got to be paying attention to the rider to know that you want to stop, so we give them cues, and then when they don't do it, then we make them back up, because the better the back up, the better stop they're going to have. So I'm going to repeat this over and over again, which you probably don't want to see because it's boring, but I'll do it one more time for you. Alrighty, I'm going to sit back, blow out. Whoa. Now, still bad, he throws his head every single time, and I'm using very light fingers with this, so we'll keep working on it and see how it goes. So you disengage in his hindquarters. It's also called the turn on the forehand. He didn't know how to do this. He tries to bite my foot. So I got off to help him. So I'm tapping him. He's not very happy about it. So what that tells me, so what you should know, is if you piss him off, or he uh, doesn't know how to do something, or he, uh, he might have a little temper tantrum in there, you know, because he's getting mad instead of trying to figure out what to do. Good job! So I'll put this camera up so you can see my shadow. So all I'm trying to do is get his hindquarters to step over, and he didn't know, so I showed him from the ground first and then got on. So let's try it again. Oh boy, so that was a really good one, okay? But when you're doing new things, you can uh, see what their temper is like, because these guys are young, so they might test you in time. So now we're gonna try the other way. Go boy, so he makes the association well, He's smart enough to figure out that, but he is gonna try not to have to do it over. So there he felt like he was going to rear up. Good boy. And that's what uh, a lot of times they're relying on is they scare somebody and then they're like, hmm, see, I don't have to do it. So you got to get through that. So let's try it again. So you reward him when he does it right, but he's not rewarded when he's doing bad or having a hissy fit. Good boy. Good. I'm just moving some farther away from the left end. Well, stand out. Right. One more time. Put this down. Over. Good job. All right, that's all I wanted you to do. So he's got to be able to do that before he can side pass. So we're running at the arena got crazy. They're jumping right next to us, which he did okay with. And uh, so now we're running around the barn. He's a little bit looky and spooky, but we are by ourselves. Alright, we gotta start somewhere. So he just doesn't seem overly confident um, by himself, but he's not hasn't done anything bad. 